Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys an update for today because of the weekend of what seemed to be like loading. <laughs> and I'm, I'm attributing that to the fact that I was hungry all week, even though I know the first week of HCG is always like that. But basically, it's I already explained it in the last one that I just... When it comes to parties, I just want to have fun and I just don't have to want to worry about it. But if that's not good when you're on protocol, so I'm going to try to be better. After yesterday of clean eating and I did not, I think I had like two slices of apple and maybe a third of a serving of the broccoli slaw. So basically it was more protein than anything during or throughout the day. And I also had mac nuts yesterday because that just helps me. I released this morning, ready for it, 2.2 pounds. 2.2. How awesome is that? So I lost all my weight from the weekend that I gained, which was 1.8 or something like that, and lost an additional 0.4. So I'm really stoked about that because that puts my average back up to over 0.5 a day. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I got to tell you, I'm really going to credit my exercise with that. And I've said this before, but it's just amazing because, and I don't think, it's not the same as stabilization. Like when you're stabilizing, you want to stay at one weight, and that's why you got to go easy on some of the extreme workouts, blah, blah, blah. You're trying to stabilize. But when you're losing weight, it's a different story. It's if I was only eating 500 calories a day, I wouldn't need to work out. So for all of you who are watching and wondering, oh, should I exercise? You know, is that going to help me lose weight? Not really if, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference unless you're eating over 500 calories. And because this round, I'm actually counting my coconut oil and my mac nuts, especially the mac nuts. The coconut oil, mm, a little bit here or there. I'm counting the calories at least for a teaspoon of coconut oil. But if I use a little bit more than that, I'm not even worrying about it. But for the mac nuts, I definitely am because even though it helps me with cravings and things like that, I know that it has a caloric value because when I use mac nuts or when I eat mac nuts during P3, it makes a difference. So I'm going to count those calories. And if I do count those calories, that means if I have a handful of mac nuts a day, that's 230 calories. So I'm going to try to work that off because I, I don't want to take any chances. Last round I was losing I was releasing low 0.2 here 0.2 there and you know that could be one of the reasons because I wasn't counting the calories from the magnets so even even though I thought I was eating 500 I was really eating 730 or more because I used to eat a lot of magnets back in first round because it didn't make me gain so this time around I'm counting it and I'm offsetting those calories with running and I'm not doing weightlifting or anything like that I don't want to gain muscle weight right now I gained enough muscle mass during p3 to actually help me this time around with metabolism so I actually was happy today because I got a phone call for the first time from Jocelyn HCG mom of three and I've always related to her, she's like half my age, a little bit over half of my age, but everything that she talks about, I've been through either at that age or now, because we all have the same problems no matter how old we are. We all have the same eating tendencies or habits and things like that, and that's why we're all here. That's why we're all here going for the same goal, no matter what our personalities are, we have similar issues regarding food. I was really happy to talk to her today 
and to get to know her a little bit. So, hi Joss, shout out to you, thanks for calling. So today I am going to exercise again because I did have Mac nuts again today. I just, they taste so good with coffee. So also I'm adding calories from my coffee mate because I use so much of it. Like if I only used one scoop, I'd be like, whatever, you know. But I use three scoops of coffee mate, okay? And that kind of adds up after a while, so I don't want to take it for granted. So even though I add it, like three scoops is like, it ends up to be 90 calories. That's a lot. That's almost 20% of our daily allotment. Let's say I have six scoops that day. That ends up to be 180 calories. And then I have a handful of Mac Nuts, which is another 230, which makes it another 420. You know, does that mean I have to work out and lose 420 calories? No, not so much. But at least I know it gives me a guideline. Last round, I was, and because of my, that I'm so close to goal already, I'm pretty much, from what I've learned, pretty much allowed to eat a little more. And that's just because we're already so close to our goal weight. So for example, Jenny, when you get closer to your goal weight, like you're already close actually, 20 pounds. So like if you get to the 10 pound range, you might feel like you're gonna wanna eat a little more and, and it's gonna be okay. So as long as you're staying with the types of foods that are on protocol, I, I don't see any issues with that. And that's just my take on things, okay? I mean, that's, I'm very analytical about this diet because I just find it so, so interesting, more interesting than any other diet I've been through. So I'm meticulously researching or keeping track of my progress and other people's progress and kind of putting it together in my little book in here, my little hard drive, and using my scientific skills to figure out what's right for me and might and may be right for you, who knows. You would only know if you try and if you know your own body and if you're keeping track of your own progress. So I hope that my vlogs help in that way. And then there are a lot of you guys who are just different and that's cool. That's what makes this forum so awesome because we are just using the same thing and getting different results, well, the same type of results, but using different paths to that goal. So it's kind of cool, it's really fun. Oh, one more thing I was really pissed about. On my music channel, I keep mentioning my music channel, I'm so sorry, I'm not trying to be self-indulgent or anything like that, but this makes me mad. On my music channel, I have one song. It's a popular song. It's that Over the Rainbow Hawaiian style one by Israel Kamakabibole. And basically, it had the most hits on that song. I mean, my rendition of that song. Out of all the, I think I have 22 videos posted on that music channel, that video had about 15,000 hits. And it's because the song is so popular. And I got a message from YouTube saying they're taking it off because of copyright infringement. And so, first thing I did was, of course, search for other people who have done that song. And there are still tons of other people who have their videos up. So they just kind of like randomly chose me out of the pile and blocked my video. So it really pisses me off. So don't be surprised, and I'm sorry for this, because I just want to be a rebel and repost it. But I can't repost it on that channel because, or else they'll block my channel. And I don't want that because I got other videos up there. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna post it on this one because it's the only other channel that I have. So I will do that. And you don't have to watch it, but I'm gonna keep it on this channel since some other of my music subscribers know about this channel anyway. So, um, and that's it. Not asking for permission, I'm just kind of letting you know why I'm doing it. You know, I just, I don't want you to think I'm trying to like market myself because it's, I'm way too old to become famous. <laughs> I will end this now. I promise this time. I know in all my videos, I'm always like, peace, you know, but for this round, I'm gonna change it up. Change it up a little since summer's coming. I'm gonna go with the shaka. So, Hang loose.